You walk into your restaurant. The waiter approaches you and says you have two choices. You could eat from the buffet and try everything or order off the one meal menu. So if you were in the restaurant, what would you choose? Unless you have a big appetite, most people will choose a menu. I, on the other hand, would always choose a buffet. I used to be a money person, but I have since transformed into a try-it-all person. Hi, I'm Ari Kalara, and I'd like to share with you my transformation. I failed. I failed multiple times. The very first time I failed was definitely about two years ago. I was 12 years old and had a strong desire to play volleyball. I would practice almost every single day. But then, September came around, and I tried out for my middle school team, and I did not make it. This greatly impacted me, because for the next week, I would not talk to anybody. I felt like I'd let everyone down, especially my parents. They put so much time and effort into my passion for volleyball. I remember my parents would wake up at 5 a.m. every weekend to drive me to tournaments. In these tournaments, they weren't short drives. These tournaments were about one to two hour drives. I also remember that my parents would get me the best of the best equipment and personal trainers. I felt horrible letting all their efforts go down the drain. I also was so angry that I would take my frustration out on my sisters. And on top of all that, I was embarrassed to go back to school. Because in middle school, I felt the expectations were so high. I felt that you'd be categorized by a sport. People would try to find their identity through a sport. But you don't. You don't have to specialize in anything. And when I first realized I didn't make the team, to be honest, I thought of any excuse that would comfort me. I thought the coaches were being biased. But looking back today, the coaches weren't being biased. Looking back today, I am grateful and appreciative that I learned from these failures. And it wasn't just volleyball until I realized this. I also had gotten cut from the basketball team. Getting cut from volleyball and basketball they didn't, close, they didn't close the doors to me. Instead, these doors remained wide open and even, even opened up some new ones, such as tennis and track. This idea that you don't have to specialize in anything really clicked with us up at the net about a hit of volley. But then I realized that with my background in volleyball, I gained an important skill, quick reflexes. Track increased my stamina, and even basketball improved my footwork. So it was those failures that made me a different person altogether. So looking back today, I'm glad I learned from those failures. Now with everything you know, next time you walk into a restaurant, explore your options, try it all, live life with a spirit of tenacity and confidence, and allow your failures to pave way for future opportunities and success. Lastly, if ever in doubt, believe that there is an overcomer within you and me. Even failure can lead to success. Thank you.